What's up guys, David Causer here. Welcome to 2021. Happy New Year, everybody. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, David, where can I travel to in 2021? And I'm telling you, it is Ecuador. And not only that, but I'm gonna give you the 10 best reasons why to travel to Ecuador in 2021. But first, if you're new here, this channel, World Travel Hacks, is your number one guide to unique destinations across the world. And I'm actually starting a small series about Ecuador with some of the foods to try and the special places that you for sure want to go to while you're there. So if you're looking for those, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. And for my friends from Ecuador, post a comment. Let me know your favorite places to go, where you're from, and what to include in the next couple of videos. And I'll see you there. All right, so again, my name's David Causer. Welcome to World Travel Hacks channel. And this video is the 10 reasons why you want to travel to Ecuador in 2021. So let's start with reason number one, that that is your travel destination for 2021, is number one, borders are open and it is easy to get there, all right? Many of the borders are closed to international travels right now. Ecuador is not that case. It's a short, almost three and a half hour flight from Miami. There's usually daily flights as well from New York, but I believe because of COVID, they're canceled right now. But anyways, you can get there. There's several flights every single day. And all you need to do is get a negative PCR test 10 days before you fly. So make sure you go get that test done. Make sure you get negative. Make sure you don't have COVID. All right, wash your hands, stay two meters apart, do all that stuff, put your mask on. And that's all you need. Once you arrive into Ecuador, they will do a health screening. Somebody will come by, there'll be a doctor and they'll take your temperature and all that stuff. But you just gotta show them that negative PCR test. As long as it's within 10 days, no quarantine for you and you're good to go. Um, of course, this changes almost every single day. Each city between Quito and Guayaquil could have different rules and regulations. So check those rules right before you leave in case anything changes. But as of right now, it's pretty easy. And I'm actually gonna show you some of the flights. Um, if I can do a screen record on my computer, it's pretty cheap. So I'm looking right now, it's January 15th, and we're gonna put in, let's see here, <clears throat> M-I-A to U-I-O. We're gonna go to Quito. We're gonna look at, um, we're gonna look at going tomorrow and we're gonna put it on one way. And let's see, <clears throat> it's $197, all right? That's pretty cheap. Let's put in Y-Kill as well, G-Y-E. How much is that? Uh, $210, all right? Pretty cheap, and that's just looking at flights for tomorrow. So if you book these out a week or so in advance, I'm sure you're gonna get a better fare. Um, but hey, you can't get to South America much better than that, all right? So reason number two, numero dos, is the food. It is gonna be absolutely amazing cuisine, South American cuisine, specifically, Ecuador has kind of two different vari variations. There's uh, in the mountains, in Quito, there's uh, food, it's almost like Colombian a little bit. Um, excellent, amazing spices. Of course, all throughout Ecuador, they have some of the best chocolate in the world. And I will put in one of the next videos which brand to buy. Great coffee. And then in Waikil, it's a little bit more seafood. If you want ceviche or crabs or sea bass, all of that is amazing. So some of the best food in South America is in Ecuador. So check it out. Reason number three why you want to visit Ecuador is you're going to be able to get two climates within the same country. So for example, let's say you fly in to Waikil. It's a typically hot, humid, tropical weather, um, but it does cool down quite a bit in the evening and at night. It is just perfect outside, and that's what you would expect. However, if you fly to Quito, you're basically just flying up some mountains and landing on top of a mountain, and it's very different. Much cooler mountain weather. Um, Quito is one of the highest elevation capital cities in the world, 
and very, very different than Waikil. And you can go to both on the same day. The flight is literally 30 minutes. Um, do not drive. It takes seven, eight hours to drive in between the two cities, but there's flights every hour. So if you want to be outside, climb a mountain, you're up there in Quito. If you want to go to the beach and go swimming in the ocean, go to Waikil, and then you can drive from there to the beach. And you can do both of those things in the same day. All right, reason number four is what do you typically do when you first arrive to a new country? Is you go to that ATM machine and get some of the local currency out, or you bring your dollar or euro and exchange some money. It takes forever. It's awful. But in Ecuador, you don't have to do that. So they use the U.S. dollar. So back in the year 2000, they switched from their currency to the U.S. dollar. And it is a huge advantage if you're an international traveler. Um, you're good to go. Of course, you can use your credit cards pretty much everywhere, but... Um, they take the dollar there, which is great. Reason number five, Quito is a business center for South America. Of course, Ecuador is not as big as Colombia or Brazil, but Quito still has huge connections with Bogota, with Lima, with Buenos Aires. And if you're doing international business in South America, most of the big companies are represented in Quito. So if you are here for business, it is a great spot. For South America. Six, middle of the earth, mitad de mundo. So um, obviously all of Ecuador is on the equator, but their Quito is very, very close to the actual line. And if you follow the equator, the latitude 000, all the way around the earth, it doesn't go through any major cities. Um, it goes through Brazil and it's kind of through the rainforest. It's near Manaus. It goes all the way around through Africa and it goes through the middle of Congo and through maybe Indonesia. But if you look at this line, it's not near any major cities except for Quito. So in Quito, they actually have a special museum and a monument at the middle of the earth. I've been to it several times. I will make a special video about what to do and how to see this middle of the earth because it is really cool. Um, Basically, gravity is pulling you down and also north and south at the same time if you're right on the line and all this crazy stuff happens. So make sure you do see those two museums if you visit Ecuador. All right, so reason number seven why you want to visit Ecuador in 2021 is in Guayaquil. They have invested a lot of money for tourism and I've been going there at least once a year for over 10 years and every year I see something new, see new things that they've added and built. Um, so Guayaquil is right on the River Gaias, and they've made this beautiful river walk for tourists to walk and see with a little shopping area. And it is hot during the day, but great in the evening. And they may have a movie outside at night or um, different events going on on that river walk. And they've added a eye so you can ride like this Ferris wheel there. And they've actually just added as well a gondola that will take you from one side of the river to the other side of the river. And every single day, thousands of people drive in from off the other side of the river across this bridge. There's a lot of traffic. It takes a really long time. And this new gondola system will help get people back and forth across the river, which will be a great improvement. And at the time I was there a month ago, it wasn't operating yet, but I think by the summer 2021, that'll be in operation with three or four stops throughout the city, which will be great. So reason number eight why you want to visit Ecuador is it has a lot of wonderful beaches. And um, basically it has 500 miles of coastline on the Pacific coast. And I'm an American, so I don't know how many kilometers that is, but um, Salinas is one of the nice beaches. It's a short drive from Waikil. I've been to that one, it is excellent. Um, there is several others. Uh, there's great wildlife if you want to do swimming and snorkeling or fishing. Um, great beach location, which I always love to see the beach when I'm traveling. Reason number nine is the Galapagos Islands. And yes, that's right. A lot of people don't know Galapagos Islands is actually part of Ecuador's territory. And it is quite a big flight from either Quito or Guayaquil over there, or that you may have a direct flight from Panama. Um, but if you want to see amazing nature, untouched, so to speak, by people, those super old tortoises, iguanas running around, um, absolutely beautiful islands, volcanic type islands in the middle of the ocean. 
Galapagos Islands is where you want to go. However, before you book your flights, make sure you do check because the islands actually have specific COVID restrictions that are different than the other part of Ecuador. Um, I think they just want to make sure the tortoises and everybody doesn't get COVID. So um, check that out before you go and make sure you are allowed to travel there. But um, if you can in 2021, absolutely beautiful and take your camera, you'll enjoy. All right, last reason number 10 is Ecuador is on the equator and that means that you're going to have perfect weather. It's almost the same weather every single day. So in Guayaquil, one of the major cities, it's pretty hot and humid during the day, but it cools down and it is just perfect evenings every single night. Um, amazing. And then in Quito, of course, it's much cooler, higher elevation, but every single day, except there may be one or two months where it might rain a little bit and it's a little bit hotter than normal. But other than that, it is perfect weather. People are so nice. Food is so nice. You've got to visit Ecuador. Um, of course, I can give you 10 more reasons, but for this video, those are your 10 number one reasons why you want to visit Ecuador in 2021. All right, so that's it. Your 10 reasons why you want to visit Ecuador in 2021. Of course, there's many other reasons. Ecuador is an amazing country. I really, really enjoy it. In the next couple videos, I will show some of the foods and some of the specific places that I definitely recommend you to visit while you're there. So remember, of course, you do have to do that COVID-19 test. So get to the doctor, get that done. It needs to be a PCR test and it has to be dated within 10 days of when you're flying and check the Ecuador websites before you leave in case they change the rules and regulations before you book that ticket. But you should be good to go and I will see you in the next videos. And for my friends from Ecuador, post a comment. Let me know your favorite places to go, where you're from and what's included in the next couple of videos. And I'll see you there.